Messianic. But there's houses adjacent to every distillery on this island that used to be inhabited by the excise man. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The main living room and bedroom windows face the distillery. Why? So they can see when the chimney's chucking out smoke and you know they're producing. Mm. So they could get the money. Mm -hmm. It was all about the tax. Bunch of corrupt bastards. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah. That's why they had big fuck off briefcases. Mm -hmm. So they had two sheets of paper and four bottles yeah, as they walked yeah, yeah. out on the Friday afternoon meeting. Yeah, well, I had an old the Celtic story. We all know that. Ex yeah. Excise guy coming in and he was saying he was talking about he just missed this. He <laughs> said, he How said, sad would that he be? Said, I joined the organisation and they changed the rules. Just as he was coming, in, but like he was an old story. enough guy. But yeah. he was saying that his older colleagues they had um, uh, uh, casks up in the attic full of. All the stuff they just dump in, just everywhere they visited, they yeah, dump in, you dump know, in, you dump know in. The old stories. That, that was uh, their retirement, when, right? Even there. at our place, when when Bunnahaven took out the four warehouses in the last two, three years, mm -hmm. that they found upwards of seventy bottles hidden in their Bung rafters. Holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually looked at the spars and the barrels. How many matchsticks were stuck through? <laughs> because you get the wee hand drill, mm -hmm. and you drill through, and you siphon off a bucket Dulls. and shove a match in there, mm -hmm. and rub a bit of dirt over it. You're not going to know that. <laughs> and there's a, a beautiful a story at Lager Village that when they come into the filling store, pause, time out. What the fuck? Am I? <laughs> Back on at the uh, at the filling here, at Lager Village. <laughs> 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 the, there was a, Ian was telling me one time they, they had um, four big wooden booths with all the different size bungs in them. Mm. Right, so for, yeah. for the, the, the bourbon barrels, the American sort of standard casts and the, the hoggies and the, the butts and stuff. And the similar type of thing, uh, like a villain obviously. And they used to take a, a bucket full of bungs over to the film store to just eh, fire in. Uh, Something's going to work. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere. And... The guy, one of the guys was walking back from the filling store to the warehouse with the two buckets because they were filling whole, uh, bourbon barrels, they were mm. filling uh, sherry butts. Mm. So two different sized bungs. They're walking back with the two, two buckets of the bungs. Very, very, very slowly. Mm. Very, very carefully. And they very gently placed them down on the floor. Bung well, floating on the top of the There's <laughs> one layer of bungs and 15 litres of fucking liquid below it because they're oh, sitting there floating the liquid. Yeah. Yeah. And they used to shit themselves that the excise man would come in and check the bucket of bungs because right. it was full of liquid. Uh, <laughs> it's a good job they call them bungs and not plugs though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good job they're bungs, not yeah, plugs. Yeah, whatever. You get a punching plug or a butt plug. A butt plug. <laughs> oh, that's where, that's where you were going. You didn't see that coming. Oh, man. I thought you'd made an arse of that. Well done, man. An arse of it. <laughs> you have so much fun with that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs>